Hi everyone. When we cannot put an equation f of xy is equal to zero in the form y equals f of x to differentiate to differentiate in the usual way in the usual way we may still be able to find dy over dx okay we may still be able to find dy over dx by implicit differentiation now consider the following rules we first differentiate both sides of the equality first differentiate both sides of equality of course with respect to x and treating y this is very important treating y treating y as a function of treating y as a differentiable function of x as a function of x okay this part is very important y is a function of x the second rule collect collect the terms collect the terms with derivative means dy over dx dy over dx on one side of equality on one side of on one side of equation okay this is the second row and the third rule is solve the equality solve the equation for y prime which is dy over dx now let's try to understand this procedure by an example example find the find dy over dx find y prime for a x cube y to the power 5 plus 3x is equal to 8y cube plus 1 as you see it's not possible to put this function in the form y equals f of x this is why it's called implicit otherwise it's called explicit function or usual function or this kind of function okay if even if you try you cannot put this function into this form okay again this is why it's called implicit if we have implicit form then we will differentiate each term of the function separately with respect to the variable x and treating y as a function of x okay now y is the function of x y is the function of x do not forget it this this is the crucial point so we have the multiplication of two x functions actually one of them is x cube the other one is y to the power 5 which is the function of x so derivative of this term is derivative of first component which is derivative of x cube 3 x squared times second component y to the power 5 plus first component x cube times derivative of second component y is the since y is the function of x derivative of y to the power 5 becomes 5 times y to the power 4 times and function derivative of inside which is derivative of y okay so it is done this part is done what about derivative of second part very easy it is 3 derivative of right hand side do not forget that y is the function of x so derivative of y cube is equal to 8 times 3 times y square times derivative of inside y prime derivative of the rest which is 1 is equal to 0 so the next step of the procedure collect the terms with 
the y over dx on one side of the equality okay so we have dy over dx here and dy over dx here it's all up to us which side is okay for us let's collect on the right hand side of the equality so we have 24 24 y square y prime on the right hand side and we also have this part minus version of this 5 x cube y to the power 4 times y prime and the rest is 3 plus 3 x square y to the power 5 the next step take the parentheses of y prime take the parentheses of y prime we have 24 y square minus 5 x cube y to the power 4 okay and the rest is the same okay and final step make y prime alone make y prime alone y prime is equal to 3 plus 3x square y to the power 5 divided by the coefficient of y prime which is 24y square minus 5x cube y to the power 4 so it is another example this is the first example actually now we have another example which is more complicated since it includes uh, a trigonometric function x y square plus y square is equal to x square plus sine x y sine x y it is a question uh, and again we need to find y prime okay what is y prime what is y prime we will we will differentiate each term of the equality with respect to x separately derivative of left hand side derivative of y square is 2y times derivative of y since y is a function of x derivative of x square is 2x very simple plus derivative of sine xy is equal to derivative of sine which is cosine do not forget the inside of the parentheses times derivative of inside derivative of inside okay i continue 2y times y prime is equal to 2x plus cosine xy times now be careful here you have the multiplication of two x functions one of them is x itself another one is y which is the function of x so derivative of this multiplication is equal to derivative of first component which is 1 times second component plus derivative of second component which is y prime times first component the rest is simple the parentheses of let me go one more step 2y y prime 2y y prime is equal to 2x plus y cosine xy plus x y prime cosine xy okay next step is i have to collect y prime in one side of the equality let's prefer left hand side of quality 2y y prime minus this term x y prime cosine x y is equal to the rest 2x plus y cosine x y and take the parentheses of y prime we have 2y minus x cosine xy is equal to the rest is the same 
2x plus y cosine x y and finally divide each term by the coefficient of each size by the coefficient of y prime okay finally y prime is equal to this part which is 2x plus y cosine x y divided by 2y minus x cosine x y it's all and finally one more complicated example it is the final example about implicit function the function is implicitly given as x squared times tangent y x squared times tangent y plus y to the power 10 times second x is equal to 2x again we will differentiate each term separately with respect to x derivative of first component is equal to derivative of x square which is 2x times second tangent y plus derivative of no the first term itself x square times derivative of tangent y derivative of tangent y is equal to second square y times derivative of inside which is y prime plus sorry plus plus derivative of y to the power 10 is equal to 10 times y to the power 9 times derivative of y itself and times second component okay plus first component times derivative of second x derivative of second x is second x times tangent x okay it is all and final derivative of right hand side derivative of right hand side is 2 then the rest is actually not so difficult we have to combine all y primes on one side of the equality then we will make y prime alone and finally find y prime as y prime as the final step 2 minus if you do all these computations you will have 2 minus 2x times tangent y minus y to the power 10 times second x tangent x divided by x square second square y plus 10 y to the power 9 second x is all about implicit derivative